we will start with new point in structure chapter that is next step structure next step structure next step structure means when we declare one structure inside another structure then that type of structure is called as nested structure <coughs> clear okay so for, it is also called as embedded structure also means we have to create new structure or declare one structure within another structure then that type of structure is called as nested structure take one example suppose we have to create one structure for employee so employee record employee having different data members first structure emp structure emp okay so structure emp that is employee having some data members first that is employee id which is in the integer suppose employee id next employee salary or employee name which is in the character character name of suppose 20 next that is salary which is float and next is date of joining okay four data members of that structure is date of joining in date of joining there are again three data members date month and year here these three separate data members are there so for that purpose first we have to create new structure struct date okay because that date structure and three data members one is date month and year and all are same time suppose integer date integer month and last one is integer year clear and what is the employee structure contains employee structure contains date of joining employees date of joining so t o date of joining now this data member having which data type struct date clear struct date is the data type because that date contains day month and year three data members for that date of joining have been struct date of joining clear now what happens we have to include structure data member within another structure that's why it is called as nested structure this is one way to declare nested structure this is one way there is another way is also there this is first way to create nested structure here date is a nested structure clear because we have to create structure variable of date structure inside the structure emp so it is called as nested structure and what is the structure variable for employee it is suppose e1 e1 this is also a structure variable for total structure emp and date of joining date of joining is the data structure variable for structure date but it is embedded or inside the we are right inside the structure emp so it is called as nested structure this is one way to create nested structure there is another way is also there what is another way directly for example struct emp same what struct emp contains first data member that is integer employee id second data member that is name of the 
employee. Third data member that is float salary. Next, now what is the next data member date of joining? What is the joining date of that employee to that particular organization? So now date of joining contains three different day, month and year. For that purpose, we have to create struct date. Inside the struct EMP. For example, integer day, integer month, next is integer year. Okay. So this is second way of declaring nested structure. Here date is called as nested structure within employee structure. Then write one structure member that is D O J date of joining clear and curly bracket complete and this structure EMP having structure variable E1. So both these declarations of nested structures are having same meaning. Okay, both are having same meaning. Means one is enclosing the structure, nested structure within another st structure. Okay, or here we have to create object or variable of structure inside structure, another structure. So this is called as nested structure. Understood? This is called as nested structures. Okay, so first. How to access data members of nested structures? Means, which are the nested structures data members? Day, month, and year are called as data members of nested structures. So, how to access that data members? Okay, so how to access? Using E1, that is E1 dot operator. What? Date of joining. So, and next date. After that, even dot date of joining dot month and even dot date of joining dot year. Okay. So accessing nested structure data member using structure variable. How we can access? E1, not directly E1 dot day, E1 dot month, E1 dot year. No. Through nested structure variable. What is the nested structure variable name? Date of joining, DOJ. DOJ. So E1 dot DOJ dot day, E1 dot date of joining dot month, like that. Clear? So using this way, we can access or assign values to that nested structures data members okay for example you have to assign value of day 1 month is 11 and year is 2016 clear but use dot operator through nested structures variable e1 e1 is a structure variable for struct employee DOJ is a structure variable for struct date and how to access day, month and year e1 dot doj dot day e1 dot doj dot month and e1 dot doj dot year likewise clear ok so we will take one example example based on this so these two are the two different ways different ways to declare nested structure but meaning is same Similarly, here also, how to access the data members? Same, e1 dot doj dot day, e1 dot doj dot month. Okay, clear? So, for that, now we will write one problem statement, void main. Clear. Point main. This is structure definition. Here we have to create one E1 
and DOJ as a structure variables. These are all fours are structure data members. But one of the data member having data type structure itself. So it is called as nested structure. Clear. Next. Now we want to assign the values to the whole employee record and as well as we have to display that record. Okay. So statically here also E1 is equal to. Directly we can assign the values to E1 object. How? Use curly bracket. First data member is employee ID and which is numeric. So suppose employee ID is 1000. Right, 1000. Comma. Second data member is name. Name is always included into double quotes. So included into double quotes. Suppose employee is Keda. So Keda, double quotes, comma. Second, third one, salary, which is float. Suppose salary 9000.90, comma. Next, float value. Next, date of joining. But what is date of joining? It is again is a structure. Again it is a structure. And that structure variable having three structure data members. So again you have to write one curly brackets for that. So next data member is date of joining. But date of joining having day, month and year structure data members. So comma curly brackets that is inner curly bracket is next what is the day suppose day is first what is the month month is 11 and what is the year 2016 curly bracket complete outer curly bracket complete and give semicolon so in this way we have to assign value to the even structure variable that is called as initialization of structure variable here both data members First three data members are simple one, having data type integer, character, float, regular one. But fourth data member is again a one structure type. So that is structure type, which stru that structure contains again three data members of integer type. So write in curly brackets. Write curly brackets. First is the month uh, day, second one is the month number, and third one is the year. Understood? Now next part is how to display whole record of employee. We have to display that record inside the main function. So inside the main function, write clear screen, write clear screen, next print, print that. First, what you have to print? Name of the employee ID. Employee ID is equal to percentage D comma and that employee id is accessed how through e1 e1 dot employee id so e1 dot employee id next write slash n here print f next is slash n name of the name is equal to percentage s double quotes complete comma Name. Even dot name. Third one. Printf slash n salary. Salary is equal to percentage f double quotes complete. Even dot salary. After that, fourth data member is date of joining. Clear. So printf slash n date of joining percentage d okay all right date is equal to percentage d either use dash after date dash is there after that percentage d dash after that year so percentage d double quotes complete comma now access the Day. First variable is day. How to access day? E1 dot DOJ dot day. This is first. 
और फर्स्ट परसेंटेज डी फॉर सेकेंड परसेंटेज डी राइट ई वन डॉट डी ओ जी डॉट वन कॉम और थर्ड ई वन डॉट डी ओ जी डॉट ई एफ लास्ट गेट सी एच एंड मेरी फंक्शन ओके सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू assign the values to the nested structure variables and how to access the nested structure data members using dot operator clear so today we will stop here